I shot a video with a polar bear. I mean, I went on a shoot with the polar bear lens. I just got one of the most brutal lenses I ever tested. I'm going to review this monster and try to not destroy my body in the process. This is the Viltrox 75mm T2 1.33x anamorphic lens for full frame cameras. So why do I call it the polar bear lens? If you put the Viltrox anamorphic lens and a polar bear side by side, here's what they might have in common. They both rock that stylish white look, with a touch of black on the nose. They both have this wow, look at that kind of vibe. Polar bears because, well, they are massive and terrifying. And the lens, it's almost impossible to be discreet with this lens. Everyone is going to notice you. The lens isn't messing around. It's built like a tank. It seems ready for anything. Kinda like how polar bears are built to survive their frozen habitats. An adult polar bear typically weigh around one ton. It's a heavy beast. And so is this lens with its two kilograms. Not something you toss into a backpack without thinking. For me, the biggest downfall of this lens is that it's extremely heavy. And it was painful to use handheld even if I was using a pistol grip. So a tripod would be the best way to use it safely. Polar bears can be extremely dangerous if you get on their bad side. And that lens, if it were to, let's say, fall on your foot, or worse, if it fell on someone's head, this will be very painful. People don't see polar bears or this Viltrox lens every day. So when they see you with that monster on your camera, they will ask you questions. During our test shoot, three different people stopped us to ask about the lens. Anamorphic lenses project a version of the image that is compressed, in the case of the Viltrox, by a factor of 1.33. This means that the image requires disqueezing later on to be displayed correctly.
the lens has a very typical anamorphic flare. But not all over the place, like on the Surrey lenses. At T2, the fall-off is really pretty and the bokeh is nice and buttery. At almost $3,000 each, the Viltrox 1.33x full-frame anamorphic lenses can look very expensive. But they are the only set of 1.33x anamorphic lenses that cover full-frame on the market. And they are a professional tool. Nowadays, we have a myriad of affordable options in different squeeze ratios hitting the market from companies such as Lawa, Greyjot, Surrey and Blazar. For example, the Great Joy 1.8 anamorphic lenses are more affordable but do not open at T2 and they are not covering the full frame sensor entirely. These Viltrox anamorphic lenses are being targeted at the TV and film industry. I can't recommend buying this lens to create everyday content. It's a lens that will give its full potential on a professional setup. The Viltrox is a beast that needs to stay in its natural ecosystem to thrive. This lens is like an apex predator. It will get the job done and it will be great at it. But working with a polar bear is far from easy and it's not for everyone. If you want to discover some more affordable anamorphic lenses options, check this video.